Hello and welcome to a video on parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So we're looking at two lines and we're trying to decide whether they are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. And by the way, when we say neither, well, we mean the only other option, which means that they're intersecting, but not at a right angle. Okay, so neither just means they are still intersecting, but not at a right angle. Okay, so first a review um, of one way that we've already looked at this. So one way to look at this is if you're given points. So in this case, Two points are on line AB, 2, negative 5, and 4, 1. And we want to know the line that's formed by those two points is parallel, perpendicular, or neither to the line formed by these two points. So we really just need to look at the slope and recall that if the slopes are the same, so <clears throat> say um, if M1 is equal to M2, and those are the, the two slopes, then that means that the lines are parallel. And if M1 is the negative reciprocal of M2, in other words, if you can multiply M1 by M2 and get negative 1, so let's just say that here. Oops, is another way of saying that. So if M1 times M2 equals negative 1, then those lines will be perpendicular. Okay, and by the way, if m1 times m2 equals negative 1, that means that the two slopes, they're negative reciprocals of each other. Okay, so let's find the two slopes. So the slope of line AB, we'll just put it like this, the slope of line AB is the change in y over the change in x. So we'll say 1 minus negative 5 over 4 minus 2, and that is 6 over 2 which is 3, okay? The slope of line CD would be negative 4 minus negative 1 over 4 minus negative 5. 4 minus negative 5, like that. Okay, so let's simplify this. This is really negative 4 plus 1, so it's really negative 3. And this is really 4 plus 5, which is 9. So this is negative 1 third. Now, looking at our two slopes, first of all, they are negative reciprocals of each other. So that's one way of telling that they're perpendicular. The other way is just to do the test that I showed you up here and just multiply them. 3 times negative 1 third equals negative 1. So these are perpendicular. Okay, let's look at an example with equations now. Okay, so let's say we're given two equations. Now, with equations, you have to find slope by putting it into slope-intercept form. At least that's the way we're going to do it. All right, so this first equation is already in the form y equals mx plus b. So once we have it solved for y, and we have it in the form y equals mx plus b, the slope just kind of um, sits there, and we just have to find it and recognize it. So in this case, for the first line, the slope is 1, I mean 4 m equals 4. All right. For this line, it's not given to us in that convenient slope-intercept form, so we have to do a little bit of work to get it into that form. And then we can just look at it and see what the slope is. So I'm going to add, uh, I'm going to subtract 8x from both sides as a first step. So let's just subtract 8x from both sides. And I'm going to write this knowing that I want to get it into slope-intercept form. So I'm going to put the x term in front. So on the left side, I'm left with a 2y, negative 2y. And on the right side, again, I'm going to put that negative 8x in front. So it's negative 8x plus 4. Now I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2. Here, the whole thing by negative 2. And I end up with um, y equals 4. Negative 8 over negative 2 is 4, so this is 4x. And then 4 over negative 2 is minus 2. Now, I can look at my slope here, and it's m equals 4. So my two slopes are the same. Therefore, the lines are parallel. Okay, let's look at the next example. So we have the equation y equals 3. We want to know if it's parallel, perpendicular, or neither to x equals 10. All right, whenever you have y equals any number, that is a horizontal line. And 
line. Whenever you have x equals any number, that is a vertical line. Horizontal lines and vertical lines are perpendicular, so this is perpendicular. Just in case this is just a little bit confusing, I can just draw a quick graph to show you these. y equals 3 would be a line up here at 3. x equals 10 whoops, would be a line uh, way over here at 10, something like that. And you can see that those lines are going to meet at a right angle. Okay. And then the last example, let's just look at a couple, another line. Neither one of these equations are in slope-intercept form, so we're going to do a little work to get them in that form. So I'm going to pause the video and rewrite both of these equations in slope-intercept form. Okay, and there's lots of ways to do this, by the way. I could have, you know, I didn't have to start by adding y to both sides. I could have subtracted by uh, both sides from 5 from both sides and then divided by negative 1. There's lots of ways you can get to the same place, but this is the only way once you get your final equation in slope-intercept form, this one has a slope of negative 3. And this one has a slope of positive 3. Now, those are not the same, right? One's negative, the other's positive. And for sure, they're not reciprocals. And we can also tell that if we multiply negative 3 times 3, that's negative 9. That is not negative 1. So these are neither, neither parallel nor perpendicular. And you might answer that as they are intersecting. And, you know, perpendicular lines are also intersecting. But and when we say intersecting, it kind of make, would make you wonder, hmm, doesn't mean they're not perpendicular. But as a rule, when we say that they're intersecting, we're, we're saying that they're not, or else we would say that they are for these kinds of problems. If they were perpendicular, we would say they're perpendicular. So if we just say intersecting um, as one way of writing the answer, then I'm not going to mark that wrong because I'm going to assume that you, you don't mean they're perpendicular. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.